Hey everyone, welcome to Professor Long's Lectures in Anatomy and Physiology. We're going to be going over the anatomy of the ear. If you're following along from my lab class, we're on page 7 on the list of things to know. We're going to be covering the external ear, the middle ear, and some of the inner ear. Okay? So, follow along on this page and find all the structures. This structure here that we typically call the ear is called the pinna, or it's also called the auricle. The pinna or auricle. Either name is acceptable. Okay. Now the opening that goes into the ear is called the external auditory meatus. Just this little opening here is the external auditory meatus. And then if I tilt the model or twist, turn it just a little bit, then this channel running through here from the external auditory meatus to this structure here would be called the external auditory canal. The external auditory canal. Now this little round spot is a structure called the tympanic membrane. It's what we typically call the eardrum. And from the tympanic membrane out is all called the external ear. All of this is called the external ear. It consists of the pinna or auricle, external auditory meatus, external auditory canal, and the tympanic membrane. I'm going to take the tympanic membrane out and show it to you. It's this little flat structure here, and it really is like an eardrum or like a drum. You can't call it that. You have to call it the tympanic membrane. Now, this space behind the tympanic membrane, this space or chamber here is called the tympanic cavity. It's sort of an empty chamber in here. And this area between the tympanic membrane, I don't remove a chunk of the bone. This would be your um, petrous portion of the, te of the temporal bone. If I remove that, all of this structure in here is called the inner ear. Now, I'm going to go and zoom in on all of this so that we can see it a little bit better, okay? And I'm going to adjust my camera so that we can focus on these structures and see them a little bit better. Now, this is your tympanic membrane. This space is the tympanic cavity. The tympanic cavity from the tympanic membrane all the way up to the end of this little bone that looks like a horseshoe is all called the middle ear, okay? Now, within the middle ear, we have the space, the tympanic cavity. We have this bone here that's lying up against the tympanic membrane, it actually has like a little foot-like structure here. This is called the malleus. Malleus means mallet or hammer. If I tilt it a little bit more, this little bone here is called the incus. The incus is connected to a third bone, which you would see right here, that looks like a little stirrup called the stapes. Those three bones connect to each other, and when the tympanic membrane wiggles, the bones wiggle. Okay, so malleus incus, and then the stapes here, okay? Those three bones collectively are called the auditory ossicles. Ossicle means little bone, okay? Now, the tympanic cavity will drain fluids through this tube called the auditory tube or the eustachian tube or the pharyngotympanic tube. It's called the pharyngotympanic tube because it goes from the tympanic cavity into your pharynx or the upper part of your throat. So if you ever put eardrops in your ear and feel them run down the back of your throat, they actually run through this tube into your pharynx. Now, I'm going to take this structure out, and we're going to focus on it. This structure is called the inner ear, okay? Without the stapes, we have to remove the stapes, and all of this would be called the inner ear. The inner ear is made up of three sections. This snail-shaped structure here is called the cochlea. It's where we do all of our hearing this middle section here that has these two bumps on it, this kind of enlarged middle section, is called the vestibule. And sticking off the vestibule are these three big loops called semicircular canals. Now, if I tilt this a little bit, you can see a nerve coming off of the cochlea here. This nerve that's attached to the cochlea would be called the cochlear nerve. And then this nerve here would be called the vestibular nerve as it's going to go to this vestibule. They have cut it, but it would go here. Together, they make the vestibulocochlear nerve. Okay, let me move this back so you can see it up against the black background. So, we have cochlea, vestibule, the three semicircular canals, the cochlear nerve, the vestibular nerve, and the vestibulocochlear nerve. Maybe you can see it a little better. Each semicircular canal gets its own name. The one that's standing straight up right here is called the superior, I'm sorry, it's called the anterior semicircular canal. This one that's lying on its side is called the lateral semicircular canal. And the one that is posterior to the other two is the posterior semicircular canal. 
Okay. Now we have an, another model that is an enlargement of this. So I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to get the uh, expanded view so we can look at the details here. Okay. Real quick review and then I'll move on. Sorry for the loud screech. Okay. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oops. Sorry. I'm trying to get all of this model in the picture here. We have the pinna or auricle, external auditory meatus, external auditory canal, tympanic membrane. All of this is external ear. From inside the tympanic membrane, the space is called the tympanic cavity, and the three ossicles, these three bones represent the auditory ossicles. You have the malleus, I'm going to tilt this again, the incus, and the stapes. And this area would be the middle ear. The tympanic cavity drains through the auditory tube, the pharyngeal tympanic tube, or eustachian tube. It goes by all the names. And then all of this structure here would be the inner ear. Okay? We're going to look at this in more detail on another model. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope you had some fun.